This intro is for my new followers who have just joined my channel recently and who are wondering who is this chick sitting on the floor Indian style in a dirty room and ready to paint <laughs> and what is her channel all about? Now my channel has been growing a lot recently and I know that some of you already know me and if you want to skip right to the painting part just be my guest I won't even know anyway. <laughs> But I'd like to take a, a little minute or two to just talk about myself and let you guys know what my channel is really about. Now, my real name first off is Melissa Dion Murphy and I live in Montreal. I'm a single mother. I work full time as a draftswoman for a land surveying company. I've been working there for five years and I do all of this painting and taking care of my website and everything that I do in my free time. Now, my name on social media is Melly D, because when I decided to start showing my work, this name came from when I was a kid, people, the French people from Quebec would call me Milly. And the D was because when I was younger, I would sign all my artworks MD, which I did for a while. Now, I've been like recently trying to figure out how to change this up without confusing everyone, because I've decided to start signing my paintings Dio Murphy instead of Melly D, but anyways. So, my channel is about my experiments. I discovered fluid painting almost two years ago, and I started making videos about a year ago. In time, I learned how to make better ones, I think. I'm less shy than I was, and my goal is to show you guys what I learn as I go. So I like to experiment with different pouring techniques. I like to work towards um, controlled results. I want to understand what I'm doing and I want to be able to really end up being 100% sure of what I'm doing. So here I am showing you guys my experiments as I go in my fluid painting world. <laughs> so. Today I'm going to be doing a negative space experiment again because I've been doing a lot of those recently, but I'll be doing something different. Instead of doing it on a black or white background, I'll be doing it on a blue background and I'll be working on a 20 by 10 inch canvas. Now, what I did here, because I didn't have a lot of bottles of the same color, so I mixed these three colors together in one cup. They kind of resemble each other. There's true blue, bright blue, and primary cyan, which is a fluid acrylic by DecoArt. So what I did is I mixed them all in here. You guys can see that color there. And to make myself a darker color, I poured a little bit of that mix into here. And now I'm going to add some Decoart Lamp Ebony Black just to darken it a little bit. And not a lot, just a few drops. E, that's a lot. I'll mix that up later and I'll see what that gives me. Now I'm going to be using red also, berry red. And I'm going to be using some silver here by Decoart. I have it just a little bit because I have a small canvas so I don't need a lot of paint here. I'll also be using um, two brands of white acrylic paint mixed together. Now I like to add Liquitex pouring medium to all of my paints. I don't add uh, anything else. So just a little bit here. Since there isn't a lot of paint, that one I have to mix in first. And more in that one because there's more paint. And then a bit in there. So I'm going to mix these thoroughly add some water to dilute to the right pouring consistency and I am going for this.
edge, you guys. So I'm going with that. I'm leaving that one as is. And I feel like putting my finger through, but I'm afraid my finger is going to be too big. So I'm just going to put my paintbrush through since this is a small canvas. I feel like adding more white. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more white. There. Oh, I just poured all that right off there. Yep, I'm going with that. Ooh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All right, you guys, so I am going to fix my sides. Now, I didn't move my, my canvas at a huge angle. You know, that's, that's what creates the cells usually, or it gives a lot of change in time. And you can see that um, this silver is so different than all the other paints. You see all that cloudiness there? Metallic colors are so different but I'm liking it this way so I'll, I'll see I'll give this some time and I'll be back so this is about two hours later I'm really liking the overall look now let's go see some details and what have I learned well first of all working on a blue background doesn't give as many effects since the white and the black are the ones that give me most effects. And for some reason, I'm liking that little area down there. Yep, it's kind of separate from the rest, and it's pretty cool. There's like an eye in there. And while this is not something new, the silver took over. But I like how it's giving a cloudy effect on that left area there. It's really creating some cloudiness and seam-like texture. The red is very uh, dominant. I kind of wish it's not dominant. I mean, it's really out there. Like you can see it. I wish there were more of it. But I'm really liking this color palette. All right, so overall look. It's looking kind of cool. Very uh, refreshing and different, I find. All right, so stay tuned for the dried result. This dried in a record time. With the weather I've been having lately, oh my gosh, paintings are drying so quickly. So much so that it only took hours, maybe eight or ten hours. It was almost completely dried. And I decided to add some little red dots in there with my leftover paint. You can see that the red dried darker. But everything is pretty much exactly the same. And it's like I needed more red to pop in there. I needed something different. What I really like about this painting is that there's different shapes, you know? There's the cloudiness of the silver, then the sharpness on the right, on the left bottom there, and then those little circles to give it, I don't know, just a little something different. And that line in there, it happened by itself while drawing. The eye. Alright, so I hope you guys like this. Something a bit different. Have a good one.